Okay, experiment 42. If you can't what, hear... Oh, <laughs> Say it, say it again. Another experiment? How'd that last one go where they just see a picture of an apple? Uh, so it, <laughs> some people liked it, some people hate it. I have a feeling as we screw around with this, like we're going to never, we're, we're going to be like pissing some off and pleasing others. We'll just see what we get. Oh, what, yeah, let's see. We have to change the title now. Now that we have a bit, how about Happy Fourth? <laughs> That's <laughs> true. Happy Fourth. Yeah. Very important day. Very important. Yeah, although it has nothing whatsoever to do with independence or anything else, this is the day we happen to celebrate. Sure. <laughs> hey, it's, it's it's what's being celebrated. This one. This is. Yeah, I, I I know. It's yeah. I, I, I know it's the cynic in me, but every time it's a holiday weekend, I just know that there's going to be absolutely no TV of any kind. Because they, they just... I, I don't know what they do in the UK, Philip, when they have like a holiday or something, but what they do here is they cancel all their regularly scheduled stuff, even if it's like the season finale of a show, and they just put on marathons of B-movies. That's what they do. <laughs> it's, yeah, like, it's, again, well, so it's pretty much the same story. It's almost like eight, even even one day, like bank holidays here, it's the same ball game. So it seems like that's what they all do by the sounds of it. <laughs> uh, okay, like we we had we we went from having no news on anything to way too yeah, much. Yeah, we you submitted a lot. That's good. Got a lot of show notes. Ah, uh, so what, what do we want to start with? Uh, you lead it, man. What's what's uh, what topic are you most interested in? Uh, well, the, the one I was finding, what the fuck in this, is the um, CDMA phone. Uh, okay. You know, the, the cross phone thing. Because mm -hmm. uh, I'm like, okay, so they're going to, the rumor is they're going to make a CDMA slash GSM phone based on the, the Verizon CDMA phones, right? That's going to work on both sides. I'm going to assume, yeah, I'm going to assume so. Uh, okay. But that version isn't going to be available in the U.S. Hey. Uh, uh, hey. Like, it, it, okay, I know we're really fucked up in the U.S., yeah. but... <laughs> I was not trying to wrap my head around that. What's the point of it? Have you outside the U.S. when we don't have the technology, at least not in Europe? Well, my... <laughs> My honest guess is with that, there's like a problem here in the States with CDMA. Uh, in that, if I take an unlocked... C uh, uh, they make laptops with built-in CDMA cards, but they don't sell well here at all because you literally have to buy it through somebody who has a partnership with Sprint or Verizon. So you this is a phone for Asia, is what I'm assuming. Yeah. yeah. Asia is mostly... That's what I'm thinking. This is a phone for Asia and Japan, and, and, and like basically a phone to ship to the Orient. Hi, I just made this five minutes ago. Now I can own it. Because <laughs> like, uh, I'm with you. That's the only place that makes any sense. And yeah. Well, <sighs> I, I it's mean, time for deregulation. That part. Man, I've been arguing that for a long time. Yeah, no, and yes, if we're going to have regulation, it needs to be regulation that's encouraging competition, not being the primary force preventing it. Because really, the the regulation that's going on here, the primary thing it's doing is preventing it. Yeah, that's why I didn't start with that. I, I'm kind of with that myself. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you're just so attached to that topic, Philip. <laughs> yeah, I decided not to talk about Final Cut uh, Pro 10, even though I use Final Cut Pro 7. There, I, there's so much people, so many people talking about it. I'm not a professional, and therefore I'm, I, I don't have any, I don't have anything to say. So yeah. I let the pros speak speak for it. Uh, and Lord knows there's enough people on the internet going on about it right now. <laughs> That's so, like yeah. Ah, uh, we covered it some in PCB, Matt. Not a lot. I mean, it's just that, it's, you know, it, it is, it, it, it's more of the same stuff. You know, that's, mm -hmm. uh, okay. Um, ah, uh, well, what do you think, well, uh, anybody, Bit Phillips, uh, what, what do we think about the, you know, 
crack down on the jailbreaking with uh, I, iOS 5 thing. That, that's yeah, they're, they're getting rid of the... Uh, what are they getting? I forget what is this, a firmware. And basically, uh, once you upgrade, it locks the firmware in the phone yeah. where you, even if you reset it back, you can't change the firmware back. And you're basically, you're just screwed. Well, if, if, well the yes. only reason why I can see that being of any benefit is if it has some sort of security benefit. But if not, then I, I, I think that, you know, it's pointless. So, unless, like, obviously, again, it's just Apple trying to, you know, be controlling and trying pre to prevent the jailbreaking as much as possible, which is probably the case. But if it has some security benefit, then I think it is a good thing. But somehow I can't uh. see that myself. What? I don't think jailbreaking, uh, stopping jailbreaking has any anything to do with security other than uh, the, once the user does jailbreak the phone, of course they're not in Apple's territory, they can do what they want with the phone. Well, the iPhone uh, itself yeah. ha maintains integrity. No, I, I, well, uh, stopping jailbreaking is all about Apple wanting to maintain draconian control. They tried to make it a felony and the lobbyists didn't buy it. Uh, I can't believe because they hired some jailbreaking programmers that helped them with iOS 5, which is so stupid. I, I don't. Well, no, no, uh, this is the fruits of that labor. It's like part of them helping, I'm sure, was how are you guys getting in? How do we prevent you from doing this stuff? And I, know, I don't, I don't, I will never, ever understand it. Um, the mentality to say, we're not going to let you jailbreak. I, I, to me, I think there's always a benefit, and if you're so worried about your image, the people that are jailbreaking their phones are going to be uber geeks and not the normal consumer. Well, no, no, so and, and, and you know, like, really, um, basically, you do so at your own risk and it's unsupported. I, I mean, like, yeah. what's wrong with that? It's, I don't know. I can't. I can't. Uh, I can't get my head around that. That philosophy. Uh, I, the only I, I, I'm with Philip. The only way this makes any sense is if there's like some massive security hole that this the firmware has to be locked and and yeah. You know, but I'm like I'm not seeing it. You know I'm sure that's the sales pitch, but I'm not seeing it. Uh -huh. uh, that's oh uh, yeah. It's like and, and you know th th this is basically because like they like they they declared war on it. They wanted to make it illegal. The courts didn't buy it. The courts also said they couldn't prevent people from doing it and yada yada. This is basically Apple putting uh, restrictions in to try and say, well, because the courts say we can't, we can't not done. We're gonna, we're gonna do an end run around. It's like, I, uh, and this is really stupid when you have like the crap like. Uh, removing an app that adds a feature everybody wants and then getting up on stage and going by the way you know that feature we threw an app out for well now we've added that feature in but you could have had it if we weren't so anal about preventing you from using stuff we don't like so it's like, I, 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 I swear that's uh, I don't know okay getting into something with some teeth you're our mobile me user. <laughs> I sure am. Yep. Uh, what do you think? Of Apple, Apple actually already offered a partial... Uh, so they are giving you your money back. <laughs> yeah, they are going to do like a prorated uh, on, the, on, on months remaining and stuff. So They are nice enough to do that. You know? and, and that's something that I think is pretty cool of Apple to also do for Final Cut Pro users. Even though we skip that topic, I just want to say that they're issuing refunds um, from a digital store, which a lot of vendors don't do. You know, if you digitally download something... I, 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 I think Apple, well, I, oh, since, since you brought it up, I, I don't think that's out of the goodness of their heart. I think they realize that it'll turn into a PR thing if they don't they do. do it. Yeah. I, I, I but think they still don't have to. They no, still no, don't no, have no, to. no, no, they don't have to. They could act just like they did with Intenigate. You're the dumbass. Fuck you. They, they could take that stance. I think, you know, I think Apple learned their lesson with Intenigate. Fuck you doesn't work anymore. We kind of have to give a shit. Other companies do. I mean, they're like Microsoft hasn't always been over backwards, and Adobe certainly has. Um, there, there, there are times that other companies just you know, whatever they 
exhausted, they go down, whether the, the ship goes down for a while or whatever. I don't know. I, I, that's just my observation. That, uh, yeah, but on the same token, there are plenty of other companies. Like, I, I, I'll give you an example. Um, I, I, I'm not going to name the piece of software, but I, I, because I, uh, I I, I had a video editing software, not Apple, not saw it, you know, it, it's made by a company that's now owned by a Canadian company. I lost my disc, you know, four or five moves, had no idea where the CD was. Uh, I, 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 ha I couldn't find my email receipt, I couldn't find anything. I called them up, I go, guys, I can't find it, I can't saw it, I can't find anything. They gave me the latest version. So that I could be in the upgrade stream and the sun, you know, that's like, um, they get and they credited it down to an upgrade cost, which was like a fifth the cost, and and else, it's like it, this does happen in in other companies and other sun. You you just have to call the well, uh, yeah. Department. But you did tell us that story before because remember I was I was saying the same thing where I had uh. CD stolen, software stolen, the Apple software, and they and they replaced it, and they only charged me the CD fabrication cost, which was like two two dollars and something cents or something like that. Well, no, and then there's other companies like, um, God, what I'm trying to remember the name of them. Uh, they, I can't remember their name right now. They, they've been around like since the beginning days, like since version 2.0 of Windows. Uh, but they're they're pretty good about uh, just giving you an intermediary upgrade free, so you stay in their upgrade cycle. Because mm. uh, because sure. because of the chain of custody is gonna be, uh, the, the chain of upgrades gonna be wrote. They're like ah oh, no 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 if we let you get too far behind you you won't be able to buy our new version because there's no way to go from here to there. <laughs> it's like sure <laughs> it's sure like, uh, yeah well getting back sorry also as well. Um, I also had my <clears throat> my own experience um, when I got uh, the Mac Pro due to um, some information not being listed on uh, the web page in the UK because I also got as they were going out and I was going to uh, I was going to get a 30 inch display anyway and in the UK they're all much pretty much the same price so I went with Apple's one anyway and due to some of the information about the ports not being displayed 100% accurate. Um, I went, when I found out they didn't match up with the ones on the computer, I, I rang them up and they also gave me a partial re refund of, of, of a small amount so I could buy the adapters to convert the ports. Uh, on that, bef before we get back to Mobile Me, do you know why the heck Apple is not using standard ports on their monitors and stuff? Because they want to they want to push the, the Thunderbolt standard. Yeah, well, that's it. Yeah, with well, obviously replacing Firewire. I guess. Well, Firewire can run on Thunderbolt, but they're using this only for video, so. Yeah. I should say that Intel's Light Peak is supposed to be protocol agnostic, so. Supposed to be. We'll see how it gets right. implemented. <laughs> uh, okay, getting back to the top of our hand. Yeah. Then. Mobile well, me and so I. Yes, playing the web hosting, the storage, and the galleries, and I have already made my transition to another uh, provider for that. And uh, che cheaper, more expensive. Cheaper, and I think a bit better. Um, mobile me, those features were just other parts of the entire mobile me deal. So it, that, it wasn't just that. Where I'm at now is replacing the. Um, web hosting, the and the galleries, and, and but the actual storage. I've had parallel storages, art storage plate facilities elsewhere anyway. So that didn't really. I never really used their storage as extensively as other online storages that I have. Um, but the hosting and the galleries um, have been taken care of and are now moved to other locations. So, all right. Prepared for that. Uh, hopefully, what hopefully everybody else is doing as well. <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't know how successful Mobile Me was in terms of how many consumers were on it. So I don't know. I mean, it's it's obviously that I think uh, I did a long video. Well, not too long. I just published a video on iCloud versus Android's model, where I think the strengths of iCloud versus all of this publishing stuff are. I go over on that, and I think I hope I hope Apple. 
example, does it quite well uh, with the divide. It's you know. It's, uh, I mean, uh, according to this I, story, um, all of this stuff actually disappeared yesterday. Um, I couldn't tell you. I could check. Let me check. Because according to this, like all of this stuff goes off on June thirtieth, which is yesterday. Two thousand twelve. Oh oh oh! Sorry, twenty twelve. Okay, next yeah. year June third. Uh, I'm like, I'm like, wait a minute. That's not. Like, I hope everybody moved. <laughs> like, okay, never mind. Twenty twelve. I'm sorry. <laughs> like that, that makes more sense. I know Apple can be pricks, but jeez. <laughs> I think what they're presenting with iCloud is phenomenally more feature rich in what they want to provide the consumer versus what mobile may ever hope to have achieved. Now, mobile me used to be iTools and everything else, and iTools was pretty damn cool. Um, but iTools faded away and became this uh, dot .Mac, and then dot .Mac became mobile me. Well, no, and I wonder if this has to do with like what Apple recently did with their emails, or was that just something? Because like everybody I know who has Apple emails, like they switched from me to Mac. I, I still have .Mac emails. I still do. Obviously, my Mr. Bit uh, address is so. Yeah, but well, you but you had well, you had an ME email. I do have an ME email. So. Oh, okay. I thought they yeah. switched. Never mind. No, so you use dot .Mac on many things. Uh, okay. Uh, so, uh, okay. Because I'm an old user, I'm grandfathered in. Ah. <laughs> so you just, you just got to boast of your grandpa-ness. Like, I, as <laughs> I, 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 I are I'll funny. I'll be retaining dot .Mac going into iCloud. That, I don't know. That's a good question. i got to find out if I can. I would like to have my dot .Mac addresses still, because, I mean, they still work. I still use them. No, uh, that, that's that. No, I'm still here. I, I, uh, I didn't know iCloud had, had this five gig limit. I I, 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 I bet they picked that because of the bandwidth limits and so forth, so you can access all your stuff in a bandwidth cycle. Uh, but um, as far as I know, that's the question being asked here. You know, how much is it going to be to get more? Uh, based on the way Apple's doing this, I don't think there's going to be a premium feature to get more. Do you? Yes, they're going to charge to get more than I think there's a cap of two gigs or something that I'm hearing, um, or five gigs. It's five. Gigs. So there's, a, there's a cap, and then if you want more storage, you got to pay. Currently, yeah, I guarantee you this is going to run just like iTools. Give it. it took, iTools took what two years before it went from free to um, fee based. The guy cloud's going to go fee based. It will. Well, it, here's one of the things, though. I'm not sure you can sell fee based anymore on this because I mean, you got uh, people would do it if it works with their devices. See, right now, I bet you. Oh, I hope there's not, but I'm willing to bet that there is. They need to get a big user base, and there's probably going to be some problems that they're going to iron out, and then it's anticipated. And so long as it's free, people stick around. If they started off with a fee. They get all these users, and then they would all then then they would and then, all. Then then when the glitches that because yeah. of crap going on, they say, oh, "I've been ripped off. I've been right. <laughs> And that would be another big PR stink. Although it will still be a PR stink regardless, I, but it'll be far worse when, when it's a paid type thing, you know. So. Yeah, well, but there's going to be this big P... Uh, well, uh, but you don't think it's going to be a big PR thing if they do what you think they're going to do, which is. They okay, like the, what you think they're gonna do is for like the next two years, it's gonna be free. They're gonna get they're gonna get all the bugs worked out. They're gonna uh -huh. use everybody as beta testers, and then once uh -huh. they get all the bugs worked out and they're ready for prime time, they're gonna go okay. If you want to keep any of this, give us money. No, so what they're gonna do? Yeah, what they're gonna do is they'll be uh, they're holding back on a few things um, with this free based iCloud, like some publishing forms and stuff like that, perhaps. We will get reintroduced to an iDisk and, and web hosting and, and galleries that later come back. Also, there's some other online services that I think they could they could do with other applications. And I think they want to see where developers first take iCloud because now developers have APIs to it, right? So it 
might be, it may be always free to the consumer. There's, so there's two possibilities, I'd say, that it could always maybe be free for the consumer, but then for the developer, there's a fee for, for utilizing iCloud services for your application. In other words, Apple, Apple will get a piece of, 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 you know, percentage if you're using iCloud. Now, it could then go the other route where it's going to be the consumer and they're withholding lots of features right now and then when they're ready... Well, and, and, I, and, 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 and there, as much as they're having a problem enforcing their, you know, things like that in the iOS marketplace, they'd have a real hard time doing that in iCloud because if people are making cloud-based things, there's nothing to stop them from just going the moment the terms become unfavorable, just going, you know what, screw it, go to our website and Safari. Yeah, look, man, like I said, that many of these policies have come, there's been bitching, there's been a few defectors, and usually, like I always tell you, if you bitch loud enough, Apple is a good company that they usually listen. But there's always a happy medium that is usually obtained in, in doing this. And, and, and my bottom line is that there will be some sort of fee eventually for iCloud. Or the, redu the, or the package they're giving will be reduced. I, I think what will happen is the package they're giving will be reduced or they'll change the pricing scheme for the iOS devices and Macs to absorb the cost of maintaining it. Because it, it's... It's getting harder and harder to charge for things like this because you have a growing number of companies giving away gigs. Mm. Uh, uh, and, it, it, I mean, it, it's... But see, the Apple model is, like I said in my video, I, I, I approve it. Oh, that's not a word. That's the wrong word. Um, I'm bit and I approve I, the... Yeah, I mean, I, don't, I, mean I, I like it better than the central authority that is Google. And this is something that we've discussed. I don't like a single point of failure. At Apple, it's it's not about clients, not about anything. It's how no, no, no. I answer data. I, 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 I get your logic there, but I'm thinking from the average and user model who doesn't know the difference between the two. And, and oh, just they, that will. They, they will. A lot of users woke up when their Gmail wasn't operational. Uh, no, 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 no. But, you know, it's like the... It, it's like... Whoa, my house just got robbed. I need an alarm system. You know, yeah. they think about it when the world's coming to an end. But I know. Th th that's the only time they think but about it. No other it. service, but see, no other service out there is really iCloud. Let's be frank, is is uh, exclusive to Apple devices. This is this is not something like where Google can communicate with whatever device that decides to participate with them. This is going to be Apple exclusive. So the more Apple devices you have, and the more of the Apple world that you're in, and the more you want them to sync, and the more dependent you become, the easier it is to charge a fee. So you're you're envisioning this basically being yet another Apple tax. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Hi, that'll be that much more to do it on an Apple product. Yes. <laughs> I, I, you know, I'm I'm sorry. I, I I I I I'm sure those of you out there who are Apple users and stuff, but I don't get this. You know, it's like Apple, and people do it willingly. It's like hi, hi, it's like they're like, oh, where's that lemming shot? I well, great cliff. It's like they just. Well, <laughs> I don't necessarily agree with all that. If it works and it does it well, a lot of things Apple does produce does it very well. Um. Then it, it comes to, uh, but I say I don't do things for like a luxury cost. If it makes me much more productive, then you know I'm I am that much more productive, and therefore paying for it, if it, I, 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 if it what it's supposed to do, becomes not as much of an issue, especially if they add more features to it. Well, no, I, I I get your logic, but because of the draconian and the total package lockiness that inevitably goes with it as Apple. What I always see coming out of Apple, and this is why I don't necessarily trust, it's not that I don't trust the business model, it's that I don't trust it when you combine it with a total package lock-in thing that prevents competition. Because when you combine it's it... It's not and, competition, obviously. It, 
nothing that Apple has produced yet has stopped anyone cold like Microsoft did back in the back in the day. But I, I I know, but when you combine when you but but but, but 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 when you combine those two like that, you wind up with things like iOS, where like when we were covering I when we are they in control? Uh, they're not. They've lost their lost market share from cell phones, and they will lose market share on tablets. Apple has never made the business model to actually be the Microsoft to shut out competition. Usually, customers just go elsewhere, and that's why Android is and will. No, 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 no. They don't prevent competition with other things. What I'm referring to is there's a number of people walking around who invested in iOS, who have invested thousands of dollars in iOS. So at this point, for them to pick up and leave iOS, even though iOS is falling behind, it's, it's like every time Apple gets up and stands up on stage and goes, well, we now do it too. Uh, and, and, so, and so on and so forth. Like They, they want to switch, but that means having to repurchase their three to seven thousand dollars worth of apps on the other platform or the counterparts or the equivalents or man so I started spending spent three thousand dollars worth of apps there on an iPhone man I, I, I need to meet that person no there are people who've done it there, there are That's, people there are people who've done I it I can't if, if they're doing that then I don't believe that they're a business person I think they're one of these addicts yes they want to call well, iPhones or something surely in that, in that case you'd, you'd be sensible about what you're doing I mean Platforms and times change. Everybody knows that. I mean, yeah. surely you wouldn't go out being that crazy doing that in such a short space of time. Then, oh my goodness! Uh, there's there's this, ones this, that did it. Okay, uh, all right, but you know what? I want to meet the, the people that did it, and I guarantee you, they're 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 not going to know any different. They'll never be an Android user. There's no way. <laughs> If they bought, if they have thousands, of, they spent thousands of dollars. Yeah, yeah. I I I listen to them. They they I I I I listen to those people every time. They they claim all of these new features are invented by Apple, and I just kind of <laughs> smirk. I'm like, what are you talking about? They're they're perfectly um, happy. They're perfectly content. Uh, of where they're at. I'm not sure about what one of them in particular. Uh, mm-hmm. I, I get the feeling they're trying to convince themselves more than us. Because <laughs> they spent that much. They're like, no, no, no! I spent all this money on the right one! It's the right one, damn it! <laughs> <laughs> 